Welcome to our final performance of our improv class. This is group number one. We have a great show lined up for you today. We have lots of games that we're playing multiple times. So hold on to your seats because you're going to see the same game over and over again, but it is going to be different. Everything here today is made up. The kids know how to play the game, but they have no idea what the suggestions or the characters that I'm going to give to them. So I didn't cheat. They don't know anything. It's going to be brand new to them and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Let's start with the dating game. The dating game, the first round of dating game. So I need uh, Carly, Sadie, Jackson, and Aaliyah. Go ahead and come on screen. All right, the dating game is a game show that I am hosting. And uh, we have one bachelor or bachelorette, and that is Carly. Carly is our bachelorette looking for a date. And we have these three odd characters who are going to be uh, in, in the mix for winning a date. So Carly, I'm gonna kick you out real quick and I'm gonna let everyone know what their date is. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start this show. Are you ready? All right, Carly, I'll see you later. All righty, welcome to the dating game. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We have a great show lined up for you today. Let's go ahead and let's just meet our bachelorette, shall we? Hey there, bachelorette. What's your name? I am Miss Leopard, the German Shepherd. Miss Leopard, the German Shepherd. I love your makeup there. That looks amazing. Uh, Miss Leopard, the German Shepherd, where are you from? I am from a hole. You're from a hole. I see. And uh, what do you what do you do for fun in the hole? Well, I like to um, I like to play with my stuffed animal that is not stinky like my little sister. Wow, that's a little bit of extra information there. Thanks for that. Well, uh, Miss Leopard, let's see if we can find you someone to hang out in your hole with. Uh, let's go ahead and let's meet our contestants, shall we? Contestant number one, go ahead and say hello. Hello. Contestant number two, say hello. When I heard this up, I the cops, I mean, I have to get to a birthday party. I see. And number three, go ahead and say hello. Hey. Wonderful, wonderful. All righty then, let's go ahead and jump into it. Miss Leopard, what's your first question? My very first question is what is your favorite dog? Ooh, what is your favorite dog and why? Number one, what do you think? What's your favorite dog and why? Probably, if I could get out of this traffic, I would have time to think about dogs. But no, I don't have any time to think about dogs. Nice. Sorry about that, number one. Uh, number two, what's your favorite kind of dog and why? One that can alert me when danger is coming. Oh, you little watchdog. I see there. All right. Uh, number three, what's your favorite dog and why? I would rather, hmm, I think I'd rather get a dog that's very quiet, not as loud as my annoying son, Josh. Wow, that, that got kind of personal. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, well, let's, let's move on. Miss Leopard, do you have another question? Yes. Um... Well, my second question is, how annoying are your siblings? How annoying are your siblings? We're going to go ahead and start with number one. Number one, how annoying are your siblings? I don't have any. I ran them over. Whoa. Okay. All right. Uh, watch out for number one there. Uh, number two, how annoying are your siblings? Uh, they can be pretty annoying, though. They can be helpful. How can they be helpful? when you're doing something that's not too legal. I see, we'll keep an eye on you, number two. All right, number three, how annoying are your siblings? Well, to be honest, uh, my, uh, my sisters aren't annoying after all. It's probably my son that makes me stressed out lately because he hasn't been doing the laundry and he hasn't been doing his chores lately. He's been gaming. Okay, all right. Thank you, number three. Uh, uh, Miss Leopard, do you have a final question here? Yes. Do you wear makeup? Ooh, do you wear makeup? Why or why not? Huh? Let's start with number one. Do you wear, do you wear makeup? Why or why not? 
Um, I'll put on makeup in the car to scare people. Yeah, okay. All right, number two, do you wear makeup? Why or why not? I usually have a mask on, though I have makeup on underneath it so no one can see what I really look like. Hmm, double protection, I see there. All right, and uh, number three, do you wear makeup? Why or why not? I wear makeup a lot, but sometimes I'm not able to because my son steals it and gives it as a gift. Or sometimes he just hides it from me and I have to buy new makeup. Your son sounds awesome and fun. He really isn't. <laughs> All righty then. Miss Leopard, the German Shepherd, it's time for you to tell us who's going on a date with you and who is going home alone. Let's start with who is going home alone and why. Well, I am not going to go on a date with number one because it is a person, it is a madman stuck in traffic that is very upset at his family. Indeed, she is the angriest driver ever. Anything to say, number one, saying goodbye? You will miss me. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right. Okay, Miss Leopard, uh, who else is not going on a date with you? I am not going on a date with number two because he is, he is a, a criminal. He is indeed a criminal. He just robbed a bank and he's on the run from the cops. Uh, sorry, number two. Any last words? Cook had so much money that wasn't legal. <laughs> what could have been? All right, looks like you're going on an all expenses paid trip to Honolulu with number three. And why is that? Because I, I don't really like the others and I think that number three has the most fashion sense. The most fashion sense. She is actually my mother, a very critical version of my mother. Well, that's the dating game, folks. Thanks for tuning in. We have another exciting episode coming up soon. Say good night, everyone. The next game we're going to play is Good, Bad, Worse. This is one where our contestants answer a question. The first person to answer will answer good advice. The next person will answer with bad advice. And the third person will answer with the worst advice imaginable. So now everyone in the audience has a problem, and I'm going to call a few people who need some advice. Gary's chiming in. Gary is chiming in. And then we'll go with Carly. So Gary first, then Carly. Gary, you need some advice. How can we help you? I don't know why, but when I read books, I, al I always seem to notice that the villain wears something yellow. I don't know what it is about the color yellow. Um, so does anybody know anything about that? <laughs> wow, not really advice. Let me see if I can spin this for you here, Gary. Um, uh, Gary is afraid that all villains wear yellow. What should Gary do? He's afraid that all villains wear yellow. What should Gary do? Let's start with Julian. Uh, Julian, what is uh, your advice here? Go online and look for some, some books and look for the covers of books, um, like to find covers of different books with villains on them and try to find one without a villain who's wearing yellow. All right, do a little research there, Gary. Get off your bum and do some research. Uh, Sadie, Gary's afraid that all villains are wearing yellow. What should he do about this? He should get his eyes checked. <laughs> <laughs> simple, simple to the point. Thank you very much, Sadie. Uh, Olivia, Olivia, Gary's afraid that all villains are wearing yellow. What should he do? If you don't want to see the color yellow anymore, then just don't read the book. There you go. Do what I do. Just stop reading. They'll make a movie of it eventually. Thank you very much, guys. All right, Carly, we're going to switch. Carly, what is your question? What do you need some advice? Dude, I've been having a hard time dancing in the past few weeks, and so I keep falling down. So I don't know what to do about it, man. Uh, Carly uh, is in full character and is having problems dancing, you guys. She keeps falling down in the past few weeks. Um, what should Carly do to, uh, to get her steps back, huh? Olivia, let's start with you. What should Carly do? Maybe you should just take, maybe you should just take a break of dancing to let your legs rest. Hmm, take a little break. Have a rest day, all right? We all need rest days, okay? Thank you very much, Olivia. Uh, Julian, do you have some thoughts? kind of forget the name of the game, but I think it's like Dance Dance Revolution or something. Yeah, that game, just play it 24 seven. Wow, 
just just dive all in. Uh, go for it. 24-7 Dance Dance Revolution. Uh, Sadie, do uh, you have any final thoughts there? You see this hat? I got big brains. So, basically, you go to a track meet or whatever, and you run oh, like a mile. Then you come back home, do a dance, and you're healed. Do all that, what she said, big brain Sadie. Thank you very much, guys. Go ahead and switch, and we'll do one last question from the audience. Aiden, Aiden, what's your question, man? What's your, what's your problem? I, my neighbors have a super big fence, and they throw, and they overestimate that, and they throw balls over it, and it hits my head. Mm-hmm. Guys, uh, Aiden is getting hit in the head by some of his neighbor's balls that they throw over. What should Aiden do? Let's go ahead and start with Sadie. Sadie, do you have any ideas what Aiden should do? Maybe you should tell them that it's happening and that they might need to change what they're doing. Hmm, a polite conversation. Thank you very much, Sadie. Uh, Olivia, Olivia, you have a thought? Mm -hmm. So when they throw the ball over the fence, maybe you should just throw it over their head. Mm, tit for tat. I like it. Thank you very much, Olivia. Uh, Julian, final thoughts. Take one of them captive and, and threaten to hurt them if they don't stop throwing balls over the fence. The weird octopus boy says to kidnap one of them and that will solve all of your problems. Thank you very much, folks. This has been Good, Bad, Worse. All right. Alrighty, our next game is going to be Change It. We have two players who are going to be doing a scene, and at any time in the game, if I don't like something they said, I will yell, change it, and they have to keep changing it until I am satisfied, and then the game can continue. We have Aaliyah and Caitlin, and uh, let's go ahead and let's just rock and roll, guys. I'm gonna turn my camera off, so have fun. And uh, Aaliyah, why don't you start the scene? I can't believe it. Uh, we fixed the pool. I called the cleaner to fix the pool. The pool is not perfectly shaped. We need to change the shape a bit. And also we need, you know, we need new cakes because our cakes have been, I don't know what's happening. I feel so bad right now. Our pizza delivery guy is late and he said his heart broke down and he can't bring the pizza for today. And we we're out of microwave hot dogs and microwave pizza and microwave burgers and basically any food. <sighs> okay, I guess we have to order a new pizza man to change it. Pizza. Oh, I guess we have to get a new bakery man to get a change new it. Pizza. I guess we have to get uh, a new guy that will give us cupcakes. <sighs> What's taking them so long? I'm gonna call them again. Uh, uh, Crystal, can you call them? Okay, sure. Oh, hello? Hello? You gotta be kidding me. What? Okay, this is a serious outrage. I'm calling the guys in Hawaii. Even Change they it. are better than you. Change it. Oh, this is a serious outrage. I'm calling the guys in, Cor in Korea because they are so much better than you guys. I Change hate it. You. Change it. I'm calling the... Uh, you guys are... So such meanies. I am going to call the people who live in central New York because they're ter more terrible than you guys, but I don't care at this point. <sighs> this is very stressing. Change it. I mean, this is very disappointing. Change it. This is very unexpected. Change it. This is very not good. Change it. This is very, very very annoying. What do I have to do now? Mm, there's no way we can get food, so I'll probably have to make it. Uh, I'll make some cake. Oh, oh no, our oven broke down. Change it. Oh no, our microwave broke down. Change oh, it. Oh no, our toaster broke down. Change it. Oh no, we lost power. We lost power? Yeah, and the power guys are scheduled for the whole day. Can you call the electric fixers? Change it. Fix it. Can you call the fixers? Change it. 
Can you call the people that made this house? Change it. Can you call the people that knows how to fix batteries? Change it. Do you know? <sighs> Good. We'll end it there, you guys. We'll end it there. Good job, you guys. Good work. Good work. Our next game is going to be Chain Murder. This is where we have th uh, four contestants who are going to be acting out person, place, and weapon in that order, one at a time, uh, but they are not allowed to use any real words, only sounds and movement. Each person is going to try to guess the other persons, and it will change and evolve very much like the game Telephone combined with charades. <laughs> All righty, lots of energy, lots of sound. I'm going to bring Aiden in for you, and I'm going to turn my camera off. Excellent, Gary. Go ahead and show us a fabulous death, and we're gonna bring uh, in the next person. Thank you very much. All right, Aiden, you got the three things in your head. We are gonna bring in December here. All righty, December, welcome. Go ahead and unmute. There you go, Aiden. Show us the first off the person. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Another place. Okay. Ah. Excellent. And now the weapon. Ah. All right. Very good. Thank you, Aiden. Shows a fabulous death, Aiden, for December. <laughs> Thank you very much, Aiden. All righty, December, you are acting out for Carly here. Carly, go ahead and unmute yourself. December, unmute yourself, and let's rock and roll. December, let's start with the person. Show us the person. Uh. All righty, December, moving on to the place. Fantastic. And now the weapon, December. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. Excellent. Thank you, December. December, go ahead and show us a very fabulous death. All righty. Kylie, call them cops. Hello. Yeah. I just saw a murder and it was really bad. It was like, it was like, um, I'm very sorry to tell you this, but it was a screaming lady in the jungle with a dress. Screaming lady with, in the jungle with a dress. December pops back up. She's not dead and she says, December. No, no, it, it was getting chicken pox in the, in the rain, in the jungle. Um, with a dress. A lady getting chicken pox in the jungle with a dress. Uh, and then we have uh, Aiden, uh, Aiden pops in and says. No, no, no. It was a, it was a crazy person getting attacked by bees or wasps. And within googly eye town. And they were using a hula dancer's skirt. Oh, googly eye town. What a crazy place. Thank you very much. And, and Gary comes in and finally says. You were all so close yet so far. It was a, it was a guy who always walks into spider webs um, at, in a horror movie with a hula skirt.
The next game we're going to play is called Zulu. This is where our players are going to try to sell me various products by having taglines or slogans. And if they have a bad slogan or they repeat a slogan, or if they take too long, then I'm going to call them out and then they will have to die by said product. Uh, I might even call them out because it's super funny. I'm just a mean old man like that. So take that. Uh, so lots of energy, guys, and uh, sell me some products. Julian, your fan is tripping me out. I love it. All right, here, let's go ahead and let's start with the first one is going to be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I want you guys to sell me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You ready? Might want to be unmute for this, guys. Ready? And Olivia. It's good. <laughs> Strong start. Maya. Sweet and savory. Julian. Peanut butter and jelly. It's a sandwich. Sure is. Jackson. Super jammy. Nice. Olivia. It's healthy. Julian. Sticks to your teeth if you put too much peanut butter. Maya. 100% organic ingredients. Jackson. And tastes like a Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Olivia. The colors have a Oh, color. Olivia, I'm gonna call you out. Taking too long, Olivia. All right, Olivia, go ahead and show us death by peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Death by peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ready? Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, I forgot, I'm allergic. <laughs> thank you, Olivia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead and turn off that camera. Put yourself on mute. All righty. The next one you guys are going to sell me is going to be ice cubes. I want you to sell me ice cubes. Ready? Ice cubes. And Jackson. We'll keep you cold in the summer. Maya. So refreshing. Julian. Melts into water. Julian. Um, it, it's cool. And, and... <laughs> Uh, and it, it can cool you down when you're hot. I Maya. Now in different colors. Why are the ice cubes in different colors? <laughs> because well, you put food dye in them. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll allow it. All right, are. Jackson. You can chew on them when you're hot. Maya. Put them on your face. Jackson. So liquidy. Ice cubes? Isn't that the opposite of what ice cubes are? Aren't ice cubes not supposed to be liquidy? <laughs> Jackson, I'm just calling you out. Jackson, show me death by ice cubes. Death by ice cubes. Oh, okay, who spilled a bucket of full of ice cubes? Well, they're not slippery like... <gasps> And he's dead. All right, thank you very much, Jackson. We have Maya and Julian left, and you guys are gonna sell me, sell me a little brother. Sell me a little brother. Maya, you there? Maya? Uh-oh, there hey. you are, okay, good. All right, sell me a little brother. Ready, and Maya. Annoying, but cute. Hmm. Julian. They'll take all of your stuff and hide it. <laughs> Maya. Can help with your chores. Julian. Nine years old. This <laughs> is very specific. Maya. Uh, get them today. Mm, that's a warning, Julian. Did you Julian? Julian, are you there? Julian, I'm, Julian, I'm gonna call you out. Julian, Julian, my friend. Uh-oh, we got some technical difficulties there, Julian. Uh-oh, are you there? Maya, I'm going to move on to you, Maya, since you're our last remaining player, Maya. I want you to sell me one last thing, and that last thing is going to be Brussels sprouts. I want you to sell me Brussels sprouts. All right. Yum, yum, yum. Here we go. Ready? And go. Ten different ways to cook them. Go. Uh, now in different colors. <laughs> Didn't you say that about ice cubes? <laughs> Maya, show me death by Brussels sprouts. Death by okay. Brussels sprouts. Um, uh, oh, I'm just gonna take this. Oh no, I forgot this was the aliens Brussels sprouts. Oh no, now the aliens are gonna kill me. 
that took a left turn. I was not expecting alien Brussels sprouts. All right, guys, thank you very much for playing Zulu. For this one, I do need some questions from the audience. So does someone out there have a question that they need some advice on? Who out there? Yes, I'm gonna go with December. December chimed in first. December, what is your advice question? My advice is I can't sleep. As she lies there, almost falling asleep. It looks like she cannot sleep. Thank you for the question, December. So December and Kate, go ahead and turn your cameras off. And uh, guys, December can't sleep. What should she do? We're gonna start with Aiden, the good advice. Well, you could take some sleepy medicine and I'm very sympathetic and I actually have that problem. So I take an all natural, it's called Sleepology and that might help you. Thank you, Aiden, thank you very much. Donna, have anything to add? Just don't sleep. Just don't sleep, all right. Uh, and Violet, last thoughts? I have the best thing ever. Okay, so you're gonna, you know, so like in the middle of the night, so like 12 or one, you're gonna sneak out into the hospital and then you wanna go into the surgical room and grab one of those IVs um, and like put it in your hand and then like, like make yourself fall asleep and then you won't ever wake up again. There you go. Steal from the hospital. All right, thank you very much. All right, go ahead and switch guys. Let's get Kate. Kate, I saw that you had a question. Kate, what was your advice that you need? Kate, come on in, what do you got? So I have a bit of a problem. My sister won't eat anything but marshmallows. Yikes, thank you for that, Kate. Thank you, let's go ahead and see if we can answer your question here. You guys, Kate's sister will eat nothing but marshmallows. What should Kate do about her sister's uh, bad health habits here? Let's start with Violet. Um, you could try to like convince her to eat something different or like, yeah. Okay, yeah, just have a little sit down talk with her. Good thoughts. Uh, Aiden, anything to add? Show an onion in her mouth. Shove an onion in her mouth. All right, thank you, Aiden. And final thoughts, Donna. Make her eat marshmallows for the rest of her life until she wants to. Wow, you guys just shove marshmallows down her throat for the rest of her life. Thank you guys. Thank you for very colorful answers. Uh, we'll go ahead and do one more question here, you guys. One more question. Let's go ahead and go with Delilah. Delilah, I see to chime in first. Delilah, what is your question? My very expensive dollhouse broke. And I don't want my parents to find out because it's really expensive. Yikes, you guys, Delilah is in a pickle. Her very expensive dollhouse broke and she's scared that her parents will find out that she broke it. What should Delilah do? Let's start with Donna. Donna, what should Delilah do? Tell your mom the truth and, to, and explain what happened before she gets mad at you. The truth shall set you free. Thank you very much, Donna. Violet, anything to add? Yeah, uh, shatter it into more pieces and feed it to your pet. That way they'll never know that you broke a doghouse or dollhouse. Wow, get rid of all of the evidence. Thank you, Violet. And Aiden, final thoughts. Take your dog or your cat or any of your pets. Now, feed it to an alligator so, so the alligator will get better. Then take the alligator, throw it into the dollhouse Hitch up your parents, say, an alligator just destroyed my dollhouse, move to Mexico. Oh, you, you, pressed, you pressed mute there accidentally after Mexico. Uh, so we're gonna go with uh, uh, that classic excuse, uh, alligator landed on my dollhouse and then moved to Mexico. Thank you for that, you guys. Thank you for a wonderful round. That has been our game of good, bad, worse. Alrighty, welcome back to the dating game. We have another exciting episode lined up for you guys today. Let's just go ahead and jump right to it. Today we have our lovely Bachelorette here. How are you, Bachelorette? I'm good. Wonderful. What's your name? My name is Lulu. Lulu? Lulu, where are you from? I'm from Costa Rica. Costa Rica, I see. Nice. And what do you do for a job down there? I make smoothies. You make smoothies. You make smoothies in Costa Rica. Live in the life. That's where I hope to, uh, to retire, just like that. All right, well, let's see if we can find someone to help you make them smoothies here by meeting our contestants. Contestant number one, go ahead and say hello. Hello, my pretty. Number two, say hello. 
No. <laughs> Number three, say hello. People, actually people, people, people. Wonderful. All right. Quite the round we have lined up for you, Lulu. Lulu, what's your first question? My first question would be, if you could be an animal, what would you be? If you could be any animal, what animal would you like to be? Uh, number one, what about you? Any animal I could turn myself into. Creepy. Thank you for that, number one. Uh, number two, if you could be any animal, what animal would you want to be? Okay, that is a bad question. No, I would be a human. I would be Thank a human to destroy you. Thank you, number two. Thank you very much. Uh, number three, if you could be any animal, what animal would you want to be? Definitely. Any animal, pretty much any animal besides human, that can't catch COVID. <laughs> like, I... <laughs> Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, Lulu, strong start. Let's see what's your next question. My next question is, where do you live? Uh, where do you live? Let's start with number one. Number one, where do you live? Wherever you are, my pretty. Rather frightening. Thank you, number one. Number two, where do you live? Another bad question. Your house. <laughs> Thank you, number two. Number three, where do you live? Definitely. Definitely at my at, 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 at this house. I mean, I, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't dream of going anywhere in, in, in such troubling times like these. Thank you very much, number three. Appreciate your insights, uh, Lulu. We have time for one more question. What is your favorite plant? Your favorite what plant? Plant. What's your favorite plant? What's your favorite plant uh, and why? Number one, what's your favorite plant and why? Deadly shade. It kills people. Then you <laughs> It's quicker than any other plant. Wow, dark, very, very dark. Thank you, number one. Number two, what's your favorite plant and why? None of your house plants. <laughs> number two is so angry. <laughs> number three, what's your favorite, uh, which favorite plant and why? Definitely trees, they produce oxygen and oxygen helps circulate the air, which helps people not get COVID from other people. <laughs> All right, thank you, number three. Well, Lulu, it's that time of the game. Time to tell us who is going on a date with you and who is hitting the road. Let's decide who's not going to be joining you and why. Number two is, sorry, number two is not going to be joining because I think she is an angry cat. She's not only an angry cat, she is your angry cat. She is your angry cat. Final words, number two, as you say goodbye. I already have joined you. And now I have been joining you for the rest of my life, and it's not fun. Yikes. Yikes. You're stuck with her. All right, Lulu, who else are you not going to pick and why? Oh, I'm not going to pick number three because I think number three is uh, somebody that's afraid of the virus. Not only are they afraid of the virus, they have been staying underground since March. This is his first time talking to anybody since the lockdowns happened. So uh, thanks for joining us, uh, number three. Time to go back in hiding. Last thoughts? Oh, <laughs> he just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, it looks like you're going on a date with number one. Good luck with that. And why is that? Because I think she is a murderer. And that's why you chose her? <laughs> she is not a murderer. She is actually a witch. She is a witch looking for someone to cook for dinner. So, yes, finally dinner. I'm so hungry. Your date should be fun. Thanks for joining us for the dating game. Thank you very much. Delilah, go ahead and show us a very large death. Give me a big death here as we bring in our next player. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. 
Thank you, Delilah. All righty, Maya, you got your three things? Okay, let's see here. We're going to bring Gary in here. So, Maya, lots of energy, lots of sound. Go ahead and start by showing us the person. Gary, you there? Gary. All right. Go ahead, Maya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Make a choice, Gary. Make a choice. Ah. There you go. All right. And Maya, move on to the weapon. Uh. Ah. No, wait, no. Make a choice, Gary. Make a choice. <laughs> Oh. There we go. There we go. All righty. Maya, show us a fabulous death. And I'm going to bring in Caitlin here. Oh, very subtle. I like it. I like it. All right. So, Maya, go ahead and turn off your camera. And here comes Kate. Gary, person, place, and weapon. Go ahead and start us off. <gasps> Gary, go ahead and show us a fabulous death. Hello, cops. There was an awful murdering. An overexcited person in the middle of the jungle with a runner. Thank you very much, Kate. Gary pops up and says, It's a guy who just got bad news in Miss Jennifer's dance class with... The running man. <laughs> Maya, Maya comes in. Maya jumps back in and says, Oh, Maya, you're on mute. No, Maya, no, you're on mute. no, no. It was obviously a baby and a sun <laughs> um, in a snowstorm with a gorilla. And last but not least, Delilah. No, no, no. It was a melting snowman at my 100th birthday party with a football helmet. <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you very much. All right. Gary, I totally knew that you were doing Miss Jennifer's dance class. I was dying. All right, good. Uh, Donna, go ahead and go unmute for me. And Carly, why don't you start our scene? Oh, no. I can't breathe. I think that we need to fix the oxygen machine. Okay, let's fix it. Okay, uh, do you have the tools to fix it though? Change it. Okay, well, can we get a lollipop first? Change it. Okay, well, can I sew my clothes back together first? Cause my robe's coming apart. Um, I thought we were gonna fix the air. Okay, we will fix the air first. So first we have to use this tool. Change it. First we have to use that tool. Change it. First we have to use any tool. Change it. First we have to use a moon rock. And where will we find those? On the moon. 
Oh, right. Okay. Um, I don't see one though. Change it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there's a sewing needle. Change it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, there's my lost high heels from Christmas. We're supposed to look for a moon rock, not imaginary stuff on the moon. Okay, okay. Um, oh, there, there's a moon rock. Perfect. Now use it to make the air fix. Okay. Change it. Great. I'll do Change that it. right now. I really do not want to fix this right now because I'd rather explore. Change it. I really don't want to fix this right now because I need to take out the garbage on, on Earth. I don't think there's an. I don't think you'll be able to go all around Earth and pick up garbage. That's. Do you even work for picking up garbage? At my house, I do. But we need to get this thing fixed. Let's fix the air now. Change it. Let's fix the air later. Change it. Let's fix the air whenever. Change it. Let's fix the air. And that'll be it. Thank you very much, you guys. Good round, good round. This is Zulu. Let's start off with, um, you guys are gonna sell me a wig. Sell me a wig. Ready? A wig. And Gary. Smooth. Aiden. Oh, colors. Violet. You could be like George Washington. Gary. Now for bald people. Violet. Um, uh, uh, you can get them. You could dye them with. All right. Aiden. Just try it. <laughs> Violet. Uh, 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 flee. Flea free. <laughs> Flea free. Gary. They are made from uh, George Washington's hair. Ooh, no more George Washington references, please. Violet. Um, made from cotton. Made from cotton? You're wearing a wig made from cotton? That's a rug, girl. You're wearing a rug. Violet, show me death by wig. Show me death by wig. If it happens to be cotton, so uh, be it. Okay. Um, let's put on this wig. Uh, oh, no. It has lice. Now they're sucking up my brain. Uh, I forgot how to breathe. Uh. Yikes. All righty, guys. Moving on. The next product you're going to sell me is going to be Valentine's Day. Sell me Valentine's Day, all right? I'm a non-believer. You got to make me a believer in Valentine's Day. Ready? Here we go. And Aiden. Yeah. Ooh, simple and effective. Gary. Hey. Babe. Here. A Valentine for you. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Aiden. Happy wife, happy life. Oh, Gary. Give people valentines. They will like them, surely. Aiden. <laughs> Best day to propose. Aiden. Lady. Put a ring on it. <laughs> Aiden. Don't you love the color of red? Hmm. Gary. Heart candies for free today. Gary. Uh, it's letters. Letters? You're going to sell me letters. Valentine's Day by saying letters? <laughs> Gary, show me death by Valentine's Day. Okay, it's Valentine's Day. Ready to give her a Valentine. Here, a Valentine. Ah! Oh! I thought you liked me. Oh! Wow, bloody Valentine's Day. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. All right, Aiden, you are going to sell me a pet dragon. Sell me a pet dragon. Ready? And go. 
Awesome. Go. Soup, it can protect you. Go. It is easy to ride. Go. Furry. Furry? Go. It's like the biggest pillow you've ever had. Maybe even a, maybe even 200 beds. Go. Comfy, yet safe. Are you describing a dragon or are you describing your bed? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Aiden, Aiden, go ahead and show me death by pet dragon. Show me death by pet dragon. Dragon! Oh, oh Caleb! Tell my story! Well done, well done. Nicely done. Nice. All right, everybody, that is our show for today. If you're still here, go ahead and come on back on. Come on back on. Turn your cameras back on from real quick. We had some kids who had to leave because they had some appointments, but everybody who is here, thank you so much for doing this. I know it's kind of weird. It's on Zoom. It's awkward, uh, but you guys did a fabulous job. I appreciate it. Give us a wave, you guys. This will be your bow. Give us a wave. Great show, you guys. Thank you so much. If you're interested in doing this, we have more sessions coming up with Saturday Improv starting uh, in the middle of December. And uh, you guys can always join us then. But thank you so much for performing, you guys. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you very much. Say goodnight, guys. Bye. Say goodnight. Bye. Bye.